Are Miguel and Lindy unequally yoked? That'll be yes. Let's get into it. Welcome to Cliff Alerts. Today we're going to be talking about Lifetime Network's reality-based TV series, Marriage at First Sight, Season 15, Episode number 3. We're going to be focusing on Lindy and Miguel. Before we get into that, please like, share, subscribe, and please send us your comments. And please hit that notification bell so when we post new videos, you can be the first to watch. Yeah, let's start off with uh, the confessional that Lindy had shortly right after the, the ceremony had concluded. Lindy was like, this man is good looking. And yeah, she, 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 she was smitten. She liked that Puerto Rican flavor. Mm -hmm. Brother man was putting down in that awful fuchsia jacket. He's a good looking man. He definitely is, and no question about it. And one thing's for sure, Lindy thinks so. Lindy and, is giddy. And, and here's the thing, at the uh, reception when they were doing the photos, mm -hmm. You know, she was like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Lindy she, wanted to get close. Get, she, wanted to get, she wanted to lock lips. Uh, do some things, <laughs> didn't she? Huh? She was fun girling her own husband. Right, right. And Miguel, on the other hand, says she's a stranger, but uh, she was a stranger. But at the same time, he's looking forward to uh, the process with her because... He likes what he sees as well. And he, I believe, may be committed to try to do the right thing and not to overwhelm her with his foolishness. Yep. So that's a good start. Absolutely. Lindy and Miguel are speaking Spanish to one another uh, at a private moment at the ceremony, at the reception ceremony. Mm -hmm. yeah. Miguel hit the, te amo, mi amor. Oh, I love you too. How y'all like my Spanglish? <laughs> anyway, uh, Spanish is such a, 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 a beautiful, sexy, romantic, romantic language. language. You can't go wrong with it. Yeah, and then when you got a good-looking brother like Miguel speaking it to you, well, panties might fly. <laughs> Drawers might start flying all over the place. <laughs> what? Am I? Am I lying? I can't believe you just said that. Lindy uh, later on said, uh, I think in a, in a private moment with her sister, where well, she really likes him. Uh, really well, likes when, what, when she got with her friend Gabby, Gabby oh, well, said uh, yeah. that he is Puerto Rican oh, and okay. Puerto Ricans are known to be good in bed. Oh, boy. Uh, we don't know where God, we got that information, but <laughs> Lindy liked what she was hearing. Yep, yep, and like I said, Miguel glad so far he's happy he's in there he's with it <laughs> so then Lindy has a, a, a chance to talk with uh, Miguel's sister yeah and the sister pulled her aside mm -hmm. and they had an in-depth conversation Lindy was making sure that she will be supportive of their marriage mm -hmm. and she was saying that they gotta work hard they gotta work as a team teamwork because Basically, Miguel and her grew up with no parents. They had to take care of themselves, and they had some hard time and trauma growing up. Yeah, and his his sister kind of really gave him props for being able to come through that. To, and get overcome, to the overcome that because Absolutely. she thinks that he's an awesome guy. Right, right. And so, I, obviously, you know, she's biased being a, a sibling, but at the same time, she... she that was really a, a nice moment. It really yeah, was. Yeah. You know. So Lindy has at least someone she could come to right. to ask questions because there's a lot. Lindy seems inexperienced to me, and there's a lot she got to find out and do so quickly. Right. And also, too, Lindy took the opportunity in the course of that conversation with uh, Miguel's sister to, you know, reveal that she, too, had some difficulties during her upbringing. Did say that. Uh, hence the reason why her father didn't show up for the wedding and she kept saying that she wants a marriage that's different from what her parents had mm -hmm. because her parents are divorced. They're divorced, right. Yes. So that was not something that she wanted to repeat. That is itself, correct. In terms of that is correct. You know, but for early. right now, in the moment, she's happy with the choice that the married at first sight group made for her and then there was an incident uh, that happened behind that that kind of i believe caught miguel off guard uh I, he had a chance to meet with 
um, Lindy's brother who the walked family. her down the, uh, mm-hmm. down the aisle and yeah. her mother. Yes. And during the course of that conversation, her brother asked Miguel, you know, what his thoughts or views were about God and worshiping, you know, a higher power. Right. And I think he was kind of caught off guard by it because uh, in the course of the conversation, her brother says, I believe in God. It's important. Mm-hmm. And it's important to Lindy because that's basically how we were raised. Right. I found it strange that the, they would put them together because he seemed to me to be a closet atheist. <laughs> okay. And she clearly uh, was raised believing in God, mm-hmm. uh, regardless if it's a uh, Seventh-day Adventist or not. Mm-hmm. They believe in God. Right. So the brother knowing her desire or her, her commitment to a higher power asked Miguel, well, what's up with you? And Miguel, of course, as a scientist, they think differently. It's all about data. And he tried to say, who who knows who's right? Um, if it's one religion opposed to another and all that is back and forth, you didn't clearly understand what the guy was asking him. However, it came across really clear that Miguel does not have a firm grasp on God. Because most people, would, when you talk about God, they will talk about religion. A relationship with him and who he is in your life is, is absolutely different and sacred and sincere. And I'm not sure if Miguel understands that. You didn't create the sky, the earth, the sea, the trees, the birds, species the, of the, animals, the plants, the right. flowers, the wind, the sun, the rain. Man didn't create that. So I, I'm I when I do have these conversations with people who say they are atheists, I break it down like that because clearly they don't have a a firm grip on what they say they do not believe because they too are on this earth and they must have seen that we have oceans and land and the trees and there's the wind and there's the heat and (laughs) man didn't have anything to do do with with that that. that's exactly right so and sometimes people who are in that sort of field they think in a different way it's all about data and what data is producing and all that stuff Mm -hmm. so they have a different point of view but trust and believe even in that data (laughs) to collect the data and data means investigation of stuff that's already there Mm -hmm. it didn't just magically show up for you to have data on to be analyzed and exactly there's a god who created that that thing that you have data on that you believe in. Yes. So yeah. I just think it's um, it's going to be a problem um, after Lindy gets over the the giddiness and the physical attraction and the physical attraction and they when lay they down. Get out to the, get they out lay to the down. Real world. Uh, but when they get up vertically and they get out into the world, or even with them trying to gel with each other. She's gonna lean. That's gonna be a hurdle. That's gonna be a hurdle for She's them. gonna lean on what she knows, yeah. and that is her and, faith. And there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing uh, wrong with nothing that. Nothing wrong with that at all. I just think that uh, Miguel has some, uh, I guess, movement, shall we say, that uh, possibly needs to happen in terms of, in terms of his uh, consciousness and or awareness of, you know, of a God that she is obviously in recognition. of. When, when people are locked into their point of view and at the time that they're meeting, I'm not sure whether um, he is able to move off of that. If he's as truly committed to you know, making this marriage work, then there's got to be some, some movement on this particular issue because this is going to be a sticking point. And I don't think he will be committed to ever move off that point. Okay. Um, people who have that point of view... Um, tend not to want to move off that 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 way of thinking because they're proving a point. 
Well, I guess. So you I, think I, a woman coming into his life, he just knowing her, that's going to change? Mm, I don't think so. You shall see. Oh, that indeed. Mm -hmm. That's all we have on Miss Lindy and Miguel. We wish them well on paper. I'm not sure what the, the matchmakers were doing here because that's one of the biggest things in marriage. Um, you know, that, that communication piece around religion and God the and the sacred the and the divine. Right. Yes. And a question will come in how they raise their children. <laughs> That's big. Like I said, hurdles are coming. And they're going to have uh, probably some hard conversations. Yeah. Regarding, you know, this issue. And the time we are in life right now with sickness and illness and she works in the healthcare profession. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying. Yeah, there's going to be some conversations to be had. It's going to be interesting. Wish them well. Wish them well. Doesn't mean it's impossible. Nope. I'm sure there are people who are able to work this kind of stuff out. Miguel was taken off guard by that question, which, you know, for me, that's a big thing. Mm -hmm. And I, I just want to see how he conducts himself and how how much of the information about God is going to, you know, sneak through his consciousness. I'm going to go a different direction with this. I'm going to say that they are going to make it uh, and they're going to work this, uh, this component out uh, or this issue out as it relates to, you know, their relationship. And he's going to come to an awareness that, hey, look, uh, you know, this is, uh, you know, her belief for a reason, and it's important, and there's some validity to it. Okay. Just like she's not going to stop him from playing Dungeons and Dragons. Right. Right. right? Okay. All right. We'll see. We'll see. We thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification button. Please send us your comments, because this is an interesting thing to be equally yoked and what that means. Or unequally or, or yoked. Or unequally in yoked. In this scenario, yeah, yeah. Because people have different ideas about what religion is and what the relationship with God is, and I, I believe it's two separate, <laughs> different things. You know, it's not one and the same. Right, I agree. So, we'll talk to you guys later. See y'all. See you in the next bit. Bye-bye.